my God is awesome. He can move mountains, keep me in the valley, hide me from the rain. Maybe it's time for something new. The Bible says, taste and see that the Lord is good. So maybe it's time to try God. You've tried alcohol, you've tried booze, you've tried marijuana, you've tried cocaine, you've tried all these other things, and they didn't fulfill. Matter of fact, they only made, made your life more miserable. What's up, Denzel? You good, bro? You know there's a menorah over there? There is? Yeah, I see it. Maybe it's time to try God. Maybe it's time to turn your back on the cigarette smoking, on the cigar smoking, on the blood smoking. And maybe it's time to try God. You know, all these things were given by man to manage stress. We do drugs to manage stress. We drink alcohol to manage stress. We smoke cigarettes to manage stress. Well, I got the best stress, manage stress management there is. And that's Christ Jesus. The Bible says Jesus is the Prince of Peace. The Bible says that Jesus will give us peace that will surpass all understanding. And that's what we're really looking for in a, in a tumultuous world, in a world full of uncertainties, in a world full of ups and downs and where you can never make, make uh, sense of everything. We need peace. You too, brother. God bless you. We need peace and understanding. And this peace and understanding comes from our Lord. Our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord, the Lord, our Lord doesn't, even, doesn't just save you from hell. He saves you from yourself. You know, it, it takes, it takes um, you could be alive many, 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 many years, and you'll never truly master yourself. You'll never truly know yourself inside and out. Because there's so many hidden areas in our heart. There's so many hidden areas in our brain. There's so many things that we don't even understand about the human condition. But God understands all these things. The Bible says God stitched us together, stitched you together while you were in your mother's womb. The Bible says that, or David says that, I was conceived in sin and, and, and in my, and, and iniquity did, I, did my mother conceive me. The Bible says that he knows our prayers before we even formulate them. The Bible says he, God knows how, how many hairs are on our head. God says a leaf doesn't even fall in the forest without him knowing about it. This is the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And this is the God that sent his son into the world to die for humanity. He sent his son into the world to die for mankind. I'm homeless. You're homeless? I'm homeless. So is he. What does that mean? I'm suffering. We're all suffering. You want, you want Christ to come into your life? And Give you comfort for that? Yeah? Can I pray for you? How much you spit on that mouth? Oh yeah? You ready? I don't know. You, you talk. You write a lot of a lot of a lot of a lot of um. Uh, you're writing a lot of checks that your your mouth can't cash. So it costs a lot. You need to get saved, man. I don't know why you're so angry, but you need Jesus. You need Jesus. Hey, why don't you buy this dude a hot dog and stop being a hypocrite? Hypocrite? You're a hypocrite. Look at this hypocrite. Look at you, hypocrite. Asking how much my jacket costs. How much your purse costs, hypocrite? How much your purse costs? Look, you got a computer in your purse, hypocrite. From 11 years old to 25 hours on the streets, bitch. So why don't you buy him something to eat then? Stop being a hypocrite. You're a hypocrite. I've given out money to You're a hypocrite. six people today. So what? Make it seven, hypocrite. There you go. Now, now I have respect for you. But I have none for you. It's okay. I'm a man of God, so I'm called to respect everyone. You're, you're, you're an agent of Satan, so you're called to only like those who like you. The publicans do the same. You, she is a hypocrite. If you're, if you're worried about, about how much my jacket costs, but you're not willing to help this man, that makes you a hypocrite. You know what? No. You didn't get the point if you're a man of God, you wouldn't be calling anyone names like that. The Bible, so is, was, was Jesus a man of God? Because he called, he says, woe to you hypocrites, woe to you serpents, woe to you snakes. So maybe you should read the Bible more. Thank you. God bless you too, lady. Have a great day. I know I'm number one. Thank you.
just like things that are happening in his life. Lord God. Amen. Lord God, let him feel your presence, Lord God. Father, let him know that you are with him, Lord God. Let him know that you will leave him or forsake him, Lord God. Fill him with your Amen. Spirit, Lord God. And let, him, let him know that the Father is not forgotten, Lord God. He's not lost, Lord God. Let him get him to demons. What the, what the hell is this? He's demonically possessed and he's getting deliverance. That, does, that doesn't exist. That doesn't exist? You tell me yeah. that doesn't exist. That's drugs, bro. Oh, that's he's, drugs? He's you think that's drugs? I know no, that's that drugs, drugs, That's bro. demons. That's demons. No. That's a spirit of anger. Clearly a homeless dude that probably... So because he's homeless? No, no. That has, you know, I'm homeless too, right? Okay, no problem. So I'm sorry, that, that was a bad reference. I'm just saying, he's probably on the streets and he chose to go like, No, he's demonically possessed. Look no, at him. No, Those are demons. No. You can deny it all you want, but that's a demon. That's a demon coming we, out of him. You can agree to disagree. That's fine with me. You, you, de you deny this because look at you. You're living in sin. You're smoking, you're smoking weed right now. So you, you, you deny the existence of this, which is so real. Dog, all right. Good 
Man, praise the Lord. You don't want to help him. You just want to take camera out of mind, man. Fuck. He just got help. I, I, I need more. I need more. That, that's just that's just the surface. I have so many demons. Lots. Lots. No, you know, you have to accept Christ. You have to accept Christ. Get the Holy Spirit in your heart. And they won't have they won't have a place to reside anymore. Amen. I drink booze a lot. The Bible says God can set you free from that. God can heal you. You just gotta believe it, man. Have you accepted Jesus? You have no idea who I am. I just know you're I know you're you created by God like I was. God knows who you are. I know my grandfather used to bring the Bill Gates and Trey. If you ever heard of them. Bill Gates a trio. We used to go right there, Massey Hall, and then Roy Thompson Hall. I mean, I, I was in the Christian family. Come, on, Come back, man. Why? That's what, that's what the Bible says. Right? When the prodigal son went away, yeah, they rejoiced when he came back. The Bible, says God, right on the, the Bible says God no. made 99 sheep to go after that one, right? That's what he said. I'm not worthy. Not, no one is. That, that's, the, that's the goodness of God. None of us are worthy. But he's worthy. And he thinks that you are hey, so worthy. He that you are so special to die for you. Right? Yeah, I, I don't deserve it. We did, none of us deserve it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Next time. None of us I failed. I failed him. You're still breathing. Bro. Yeah. Say, Lord. He's Jesus. Say, Lord. Lord. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm all sins that I've committed against you. All sins everything I've committed against you. I'm asking you to forgive me, God. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. I accept you, Jesus. I accept you, Jesus. As my Lord. My Lord. And Savior. Savior. Come into my body. Come into my life. Come into my heart. Change me. Change me. Through your Holy Spirit. Through your Holy Spirit. Turn my back on the world. I, I do turn my back on the world. Turn my back on my former lifestyle. Turn my back on my former lifestyle. Amen. He thought you was worth saving.